Hey folks, Edge is the CEO here and we're getting close to the end of the year and we're getting ready to go into 2023. And this is a series of videos that I promised that I wanted to do, um, mainly for a lot of ministries that have reached out as well as my own ministry to just recalibrate, reorganize, and refocus on what the purpose is of our media ministry. So we're gonna be going through a lot of fundamentals that again, I am not the authority on this. So I'm just coming from my standpoint. So are there other ways that you can do this? Are there different mindsets and philosophies of how you could do this? Sure, but again, I'm only me. So I hopefully you can get something from this or at least get make your mind start spinning a little bit and thinking of, man, I didn't think about that. Let me go in this direction. So the very first thing I want to talk about, and honestly, I don't have a script in front of me. I'm going right off the top of my head, all right? Um, I will try and add some graphics to make this more um, organized, <laughs> but this is just on the top of my head, and this is normally how I do videos anyway. But um, the first thing is we need to get organized. So I'm going to talk about from my standpoint of signs and wonders, but I want y'all to think about this no matter where your ministry is, your media ministry, whether you don't have one, you have one that's in shambles, you're rebuilding, or you have one that's well established. Hopefully this will, like I said, make your mind think, oh, maybe we should implement this. I didn't think about that. So again, it's organization. Now for me, my personal opinion is from a media ministry, we are the keepers and the guardians and the facilitators of anything that goes out from said ministry in a digital and then sometimes a physical format that's outside the walls. Again, I'm gonna focus on digital because this is consisting of anything social media related, anything email related, any type of digital content made, whether it be a static image, video, um, your live stream, um, posted content on any type of social media platform. What I believe is if there are any accounts made, going to be made, already existing, whatever, all of them need to be reined in and the media ministry is the owner of them. Is it good to have a secondary administrator? Yeah, but again, in other videos that I've posted, my thought is that you put all your passwords, everything under a centralized account for the media ministry, not an individual person. So as you have people um, age out, phase out, quit, whatever from the media ministry or join, it's not locked to an initial person, but it's locked to the ministry. So that's what I established at um, Antioch, and that's the same thing I'm gonna be establishing here at Signs and Wonders. So how do we first do that? Me personally, I have this for my business as well as I have this for Signs and Wonders. I personally recommend you at least start with a Google account, and then more importantly, let me just put it this way, and I've said this before. If your ministry is using any type of email that ends with at Gmail, um, Yahoo, Outlook, Hotmail, MSN, AOL, whatever. I personally think you need to do away with that. I, I think that you should either sign up for Zoho, which is free for five accounts, or better than that, sign up for a Google Workspace um, account. I believe if you're a 5013C or 503C, I always, I always say I'm wrong, but if you have one of them, I don't quote me on this, but I, I thought you have some type of discounts or sometimes maybe even free stuff if you're associated with um, Google, if you have something like that in place, I'm not sure. But even if you had to pay for it, um, having an account with all the bells and whistles, so it's like for us, media at signswondersministries.org, it looks more professional. It's the exact same email address that's on our website and it's not some Gmail, this, this, and that. Um, I think that's one level of professionalism that will be the account that's for everyone in the media ministry. But then that account, you can make a distribution, meaning that when somebody emails that, um, like I set up a, a um, distribution list, a group called media team at the ministry. I put everybody's personal email under that. And if anybody emails media, it automatically forwards that email to media team, which goes to everyone. I know that sounds a little complicated, but once it's set up, media goes out to everybody. People email media, 
media forwards the email to media team, which is a distribution list that you put everybody on the team in the media. So that way, once it's set up, you don't have to change it. All you're doing is adding or taking away people from a distribution list and everyone gets the email. I don't believe in one person getting the email, let it all come to that filter one that goes to everybody. Now, the reason why I say the Google one is because Google has so many things that you can set up so that you can automatically have your account. So centralizing, bringing everything in. If you already have a YouTube channel um, and it's been established by whoever, find out who that is. And with this new Gmail account, Google account, workspace account, this media or whatever you want to call it at your ministry's website um, instead of a Gmail, have them make that media email, which is a Google account, the administrator of the YouTube page. That way, the, um, the media has full access to make content, make playlists, customize the page, um, edit videos, upload videos, the full gamut, all right? <clears throat> the other thing you should do if you have, um, there might be some type of issue with this because I, I was able to establish this with Facebook, but then um, I don't know if some policies have changed. See if you can make a, um, a similar account that's made registered with that email as a Facebook page, a Facebook profile. And just like that, have whoever, if it's already been made or if you haven't made one, make a church Facebook page with that Google email, the media one, as an admin as well. All right, so now that we're organizing, we're reining everything in. And instead of me repeating all this, just realize that any social media account that the media ministry is now responsible for, that email address is the one that is the admin for all of them. You want to make a TikTok account, do it to that account. You want to have a Twitter account, put it there. Whatever it is, an Instagram, put it there. Put it all there so that way anybody in the media ministry who has access to that email has full access to everything else. All right. And then, especially with that account, I use LastPass, but Google has one built in as well. You can have password management on that account. So instead of sharing all the emails, all that password, all the passwords are saved under that account. Me personally, I put the account on the computers in the media ministry so that I don't like anybody having access to the accounts outside of the church. If they're there inside the church working on the computers where everything is, then they have access to it. If people want to work on anything at home, hey, you might, you know, you have elevated access or something like that. You can make them personally an, an editor. But the idea is to organize and rein everything in under one account that is under the media, all right? So we already talked about number one, having a professional email account that's not at Gmail, at Yahoo, whatever. You want to be, I'm saying media, say media ministry, media, whatever, at your ministry's website, not anything else. That way, if with all this influx, especially with the holidays, I'm sure like me, I've gotten tons of emails from Norton antivirus and geek squad, some trash that is nowhere legit. And here's a side tip. If it was really from Norton, why am I getting the email from a gmail.com? If it's from geek squad, why am I getting the email from yahoo.com? Scam. That's the thing, same thing you want to avoid. If it's something legitimate from your ministry, shouldn't it be coming from an email at your ministry? Just like why in the world am I getting an order from something other than amazon.com? Amazon.com is a trillion dollar company. Why in the world could they not afford an email from amazon.com? That's the same mindset you got to think when it comes to your media ministry. All right. Now, with all of those accounts being reined in, you need to establish, well, my personal opinion is I think you should establish some type of branding, just like Pepsi, Tesla, Coke, any brand that you know, they are recognizable, meaning that um, you want to establish a font, you want to establish some type of character, branding for your ministry. Me personally, anything that comes out of Signs and Wonders, 
that is now with our media ministry. We use the font League Spartan Black. Um, we use that. We have three color codes, hex codes for our colors that um, that stuff is recognized in any way, shape or form. And we also have a church logo that if anything goes out, our logo needs to be on it in some way, shape or form. Again, if you see anything from Pepsi, you're going to see that Pepsi logo somewhere. If you see any clothing material that's by champion, you're going to see that champion logo somewhere. Think of the same thing with your ministry. If somebody sees something and they're like, man, I wonder where they came from. They shouldn't be asking that question because they'll see your logo and you know exactly where it's coming from. Now, I know some of y'all might be thinking, why in the world are you thinking about why would we need to do that? Because you now have a international global ministry. Unless you are super duper unique, there's probably thousands of other ministries with your exact same name. You need to be able to differentiate yourself, not from a competition standpoint, but to know which is which. And again, anything that comes out from your ministry, the media should have their fingerprints on it in some way, shape or form, not from a control standpoint like that, like, oh, everything needs to pass through me. No, it's about having a spot check of making sure that, hey, like I, I say with signs and wonders, nothing goes out, is posted anywhere on social media um, without the consent of the media ministry because the media ministry are the only ones that have access to post on social media. You see, that's the funnel. If anybody wants to make something, hey, that is great. But it has to go past the media to make sure, hey, is this the font? Is the information correct? Because why would you want somebody else, which is cool for them to make another flyer, and you put it out on social media and they have the wrong date, they have the wrong time, they have the wrong address. It's more of a spot check as well. And we want to make sure our stuff is at a certain standard, right? Um, so that's one of the things. I have a lot of other stuff that I wanna go over, but I actually want to slow down a little bit so we make sure we have that. So again, let's refresh. I personally think that you should get, you can go through anybody, but again, because Google has so many different accounts that once you make a Google account, it gives you access to a whole bunch of things. I would highly recommend you set up a Google workspace account for your church and let them manage your email. So, I mean, you can make tons of them. You can make one for the pastor. You can make one for the different ministries. And I think it goes for like if you had to pay for it, I think it's like three to $5 a year per person or is a month per person. I can't, I can't remember. It's something very, very small um, for your ministry from a professionalism standpoint. When you have that account, have all the passwords, um, excuse me, have um, that email go to a distribution list and you add the members of the media ministry to the distribution list. Anytime somebody hits an email, in the Google Workspace account, set that email to forward to the group, which emails everybody so everyone knows what's going on. Next thing is every social media account, if there have been ones that have already been established, make sure that whoever made them adds that new Gmail account as an admin to all of social media. If you don't have anything, make all of those new accounts under the media ministry. So the media ministry owns them, all right? Establish a logo. You can go to Fiverr, make one. You can make one yourself at canva.com. Or if you do, get scan it, get a copy, get a digitized version of the logo, the ministry's logo, and make a transparent background. You can go to remove.bg.com to get rid of all of the backgrounds and have a good transparent image and make sure just like a Pepsi, just like a Tesla, that you put your logo on everything. You need to make and establish some form of branding. Establish a color codes if you have. Um, if you don't, here's a good opportunity for you to develop them. And you want to um, define your brand as well, all right? So we got a lot of other stuff to go over as well too, but this is the first one I'm thinking from an organizational standpoint, and there's really no point in going any further if we don't have that stuff established. And the last thing, by having that account, whether you want to use LastPass, which I'll have a link down below, or use your Google account to have all the passwords, heavily encrypted passwords, not good book, one, two, three, or Bible, what, no, 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 folks. We, we need to have more complex passwords. You use a password management system, LastPass, or Google's now allows you to 
Um, it suggests more complex passwords and it's saved inside of the account. Use that stuff so that your stuff is locked down and you won't have any stuff crazy going on. So let me know down below what other stuff you will want me to go over. This was just off the top of my head. We're going to be working on towards other things um, as well from an organizational standpoint, as well as the philosophy and the mindset of about media ministry going into 2023, because I really believe all of us can move and reach and impact more people, but it starts with organization, understanding and setting the groundwork and the foundation before we forge forward. Because there's no point in doing all this other stuff if we ain't got home base straight. If we ain't got our passwords all over the place, our accounts all over the place, and we don't know what platform we got, how in the world are we gonna brand and make everything move forward? When we got this person who's on the Usher board is the person over top of Twitter, the Twitter account. You got um, bro man over here who plays the organ. He he set up the YouTube channel. And now nah, we need to rein all that stuff in and get more organized as well. So let me know down below um, what y'all think about this. Some other suggestions. Because again, I'm, I don't know everything, folks. This is stuff that I need to work on in my ministry too. Let's work together so that we can all move the body Forward. Not just our ministry, not just my ministry, not just your ministry, but the body as a whole move forward. So um, if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later. <music>